We're here to live. This is what she fucking do to you right here. You see this meme? It says, Yeah. So, take your shit and get the fuck out. No one, no one sells shit in this temple unless I get my 10%. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, dude. You can't buy your way into heaven. And it's like, look at all the homeless people will pile up outside. They don't help the homeless. They hoard all the gold. No. They hoard all the gold in the churches. Yep. Like, the Vatican is where your fucking they sent your birth certificate your soul print is in the vatican where the devil lives so the devil owns everybody's soul already they don't have to like it they're not going to do anything about it just like they don't do anything about anything else they'll just go home and sleep on it you know kiss the kids good night and tuck tuck them into bed and go you know be with the wife and the kids and and you know same thing go be with the hubby and the kids it's People don't bat an eye to anything of truth, you know? They're gonna go to work on time, they're gonna pay their bills on time, they're gonna pick their kids up from school on time, they're gonna make dinner on time, they're gonna watch that TV program on time. They don't even see that time as their God. Wow. Yeah, you know what's crazy? You know what's the quote that, that actually woke me up to? Someone was just like, no one, no one ever wants to do anything until the last minute. Like, when they find out they're dying, then they want to take care of their body. Call upon your gods, pray <laughs> for then, them to help you. Hell <laughs> oh, yeah, bro, get, like, that's that song, Call Upon someone, Your Gods. Someone, someone, something's wrong, now, now they want to, now, now they want to, right, you feel Call me? Call Upon like, Your Gods, it's, it's, it's by God. Dark Lotus, okay? Listen to that song, Kane. Yeah. Call Upon Your Gods by, yeah. by Dark Lotus. I'm gonna look it up right now. Yeah. Talking about people call upon their God when it's the last second, you know? They'll wait till the last second to call upon their God. Every time. But that's an old ass song. That's back from like the early 2000s and shit, man. That was my shit. I seen them guys in concert live, 2004. It was one of my favorite concerts, dude. Seeing Dark Lotus perform, that was the shit. Them, Twisted, Cottonmouth Kings. It was badass, dude. But I'm sure you guys had some fun too, you know. I can I can see Michael at some fucking shows back in the day. I'd imagine 80s, 90s, rocking it up. Michael, did you ever go any rock shows, bro? Huh? I was asking Michael if you went. Nah, there. that's real. You know that intro to this is mad real. Yeah. No one wants to call upon their guards until they die, and mm-hmm. all the people in prison. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. he's right about that. They don't they don't react until they yep. become um, religious. As soon as they get locked, that's real. Yeah, yeah. They wait till the last second to call upon their God. You know. I mean, we were always seeking it. Uh, uh, we always had questions, but we, to our questions, we're gonna get answers. You know, every every one of us. And I mean, I can't down on people that aren't into blood over intent and aren't doing it either. I hope they get their answers too. But you know, sadly mistaken, it's like we got all the answers to everything. It's like we're here to inform everybody. You know, on the same level, every one of us. On the same level, we're on the same page. We're we're all, nobody's we're not hiding anything. I mean, it's just here to get heaven on earth for everybody. You know, I don't get why anybody wouldn't want that. It's like literally we're coming to an agreement. You know, it's like we're all adults. Quit giving all your agreements to the teachers at school. Quit giving all your agreements to all these other motherfucking petty ass fools that don't give a fuck about you. These people want to kill you now. So they have you wearing masks and they got you fucking want to vaccinate your children and they want to vaccinate you. They're telling you. They want to exterminate your ass. For all the right reasons. Because you don't give a fuck. If you don't give a fuck, we don't give a fuck. If you don't give a fuck, we don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck, we don't give a fuck. Well, don't start nothing, won't be nothing. That's right. Don't start nothing, there won't be nothing. Don't be no shit. We ain't coming on here just to talk shit. You know, we come on here just to talk shit. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Yo, that, that quote's real too, because if you don't start nothing, you won't be nothing. If you don't yeah. start this blood over intense shit, you ain't gonna, you ain't, you ain't gonna be nothing with that heaven, man. Exactly. <laughs> Talk about. <laughs> like, hey, man, that's funny, though. 
Uh huh. No, but it is. We need all those concepts because that's what they are. Like Mark Brown said in that video, everything's a concept, you know? Like look at all the concepts that they had on the black hole. You know, it's like you didn't even see it. Under, it went under and over. Over your head and under you. The whole concept, literally, the, the black hole. And they were rubbing it in our faces the whole time. It's like there's just so many concepts to everything, you know? And they all correlate with shit. And everything. It's like, I don't know, man. It's a trippy ass, weird ass world we live in in Matrix, you know? If you step back and see it for what it is. I mean, why would they show this on all these videos and cartoons and movies and shows and, I mean, you name it, man. They're in there rubbing it right in our faces, you know? It's like, why, do, why, why does it have to be rubbed in our faces? But just to say, and then people say, well, just to fuck with you. Oh, really? They're just gonna rub it in our faces just to fuck with us? Oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. How come nobody else is talking about it then? How come they never showed us it before? How come we didn't hear about it in school? How come we don't hear about it at work? How come we don't hear about it at your meetings? How come we don't hear about it when you go to church? How come we don't hear about it anywhere you go? But yet they hide it on us, right in fucking plain sight. They're just gonna give you a little glimpse of it. A little bit of hope. You might see something, you might hear something. It's just ridiculous, you know? And then you get these videos and we get censored, cut off. This information doesn't get shared. Nobody gives a fuck besides us. We're the only ones that care. You know? Besides, you know, the rest of the people into Blood Over Intent that are making great videos and sharing videos and doing what they're doing. You know, there's plenty of them. But Mark Runs was specific for everybody to be selfless. And your creator's watching, you know? So it's like, we're picking up on it every day. You know, we're getting more in sync with it and in tune with it to be more selfless upon each other. But it's just going to pick up to where the selflessness is just going to wear on to people, you know? Because where else do they got to go but our channel, Kane? Where else do these people got to go, man, for any hope, any glimmer, any shine of anybody telling them anything of anything, of anything of anything of significance? Understands until they're, no one understands until they're ready to. That's that's one thing that I also been taught. It's like, you know what I used to hate too? Um, when I, I'd sit there, I'd be preaching hardcore to my family, like, yo, shit, they sit about, it would be something so fucking simple, not even about the flat earth, just something simple, and they won't believe it. Then they see it on TV or hear it on the radio, oh, now it's real. <laughs> yeah. You know? It's like, you, you, you need, they need that government to tell me. You feel like some people are so. Socially engineered, you know, like they can't even think for them fucking selves, bro. No, it's just sad, bro. It's just sad that you know that yeah, they gotta have either their egos involved or they gotta have somebody else's opinion, you know. And it's like none of that is getting us anywhere. It's and you know what you always hear too. You always hear, oh, what difference does it make? Who cares, man? You feel like you yeah, yeah, that's what like I mean. That. People really don't care. That's what I mean. Even if you gave them the choice to live or die, what would they choose? Would they say, oh, I don't know. Bro. I don't care. I don't know. Like, just like, you know, what does it matter about the shape? No, 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 we still gotta do it. Da, da, da. I don't okay, know, man. Man. I don't even want to decide on this but right now. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about <laughs> this right now. I don't even want to deal with this right now. I got other shit to worry about, you know? Like, Bro, but, and then they and then they bring up some sports shit. But that's what Michael was saying earlier. That's what Michael was saying earlier. They keep everybody in a low frequency. They're like, who did I sleep with? And what food did I eat? And who do I talk to? And, you know, they're just in a low frequency, man. All these people, and they don't see it. That's why they share dumb fucking memes on Facebook. They, they they're just miserable, sacks of shit. They're lonely, you know. And they're afraid to reach out to people, and they're afraid to talk to people, and it's sad, because you know they're they're all hiding their intents too as well. You know everybody's hiding their intention. They're giving you a fake ass image on on Facebook of themselves, because you know they'll they'll show something of 
just really uh, uh, ridiculousness out of, you know, just whatever and thinking it's funny, but they don't even see the joke they're playing on themselves, you know? Like that's why it's like the laughter and the slaughter. They're laughing at the sla their own slaughter, you know? It's like the laughter, the slaughter, it's the same thing. They're laughing at their own slaughter, dude. At everything they do, everything they say. They're laughing at their own slaughter. They're living in hell. They don't want to face it. They don't want to talk about it. But yet they do talk about it. Because if you look, they're, they're, everybody's complaining. You go look at their shit, somebody's complaining about something. And they got to write about it. And they got to tell everybody about it. And they got to, you know, it's just... They don't see it. That they're living in hell and they don't want to admit it. You know, that you're not getting away. You're not getting out of this. Until you accept this fact. You know, I mean, what else way is there around it? I've accepted it. We're living in hell. We need heaven here. I mean, there's no other way around it. This is all we've been preached our whole lives. Heaven and hell, heaven and hell, hell and heaven, heaven and hell. Was it, you know, what do you choose? 